thank you very thank you very much uh, to give me a chance to say something on democracy in south asian country actually democracy we all know democracy means uh by the people for the people by the people of the people and for the people that means uh common people must be in the center of the power that means common people will select the party who will rule them this is a democracy and in in democracy the citizen of the country are the owner every citizen every people of the country every citizen of the country will be regarded as the owner of the country and certainly they will enjoy freedom of speech uh respect honor right to have uh you know voting power a right to have to get employment provided by the government that means no people will left out everything will be regarded as the important part of the country and all are equal in democratic country all are equal but problem is that in today's in today's democratic democracy especially in in south asian country south asian countries it has been like this not all are equal but we can say all are equal but some are more equal that means people hold the power will lead the country the way they think by passing the interest of the people this is not in bangladesh i am not just mentioning about bangladesh rather it is the it has been a tradition of the south asian country look if if you take a look at the middle in you know european country like you know some days before english people british people elected their prime minister elected you know british people voted to select their representative certainly between the parties there will will have conflict in opinion they will have misunderstanding they will have disagreement disagreement in 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 providing opinion or setting goals or but they certainly they will respect every people even they will respect they don't they they won't feel they they won't feel hesitation to respect even his opponent because look in in when british people selected their prime minister i just got surprised surprised means in a sense that to see the maturity of them like when rishi sunak lost the election he didn't waste a single moment to appreciate the income the income the 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 incumbent prime minister uh uh storma storma and look when rishi sunak understood his party is going to lose he admitted you know he admitted the verdict of the people and he told he didn't he didn't you know you know take a single moment to apologize for the defeat and together 
they are doing everything. And when trauma, you know, you know, got victory in his inauguration speech several times, he repeated, country first, party second. Country first, party second. Yes, that should be the motto of democracy. In democracy, democracy, you know, uh, in democracy, people put their opinion, but all will put the opinion for the betterment of the country. A party or the people or single people cannot be above the country. But unluckily, in, in South Asian country, I don't want to mention the name of any country. In South Asian country, what I observe, to me, what I observe, somehow, to my personal point of view, what I think, the concept has been reversed. The party first, country second. If the repres political representative believe country first, party second, then it is quite impossible to involve them in corruption. Every year, the political people, they, they, they took a, an, an, an handsome amount of dollar outside the country. They don't feel secure to do anything in, in the home country. They think, when my power, when I will lose my power, I may face the verdict. I may face the law. I may face the court. So I have to escape. If I want to be, you know, um, okay, I have to leave the country. And I have to take shelter in other country. So this is a melody. To my point of view, this is a melody. Look, I feel surprised to see a few months before, to see a political leader, I mean, the political leader of a, a remote area, like a, 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 a political leader of a union position. I, I heard, you know, I, 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 I saw the, the news in, uh, I, I, saw, I saw the news in the newspaper even he didn't when he when he, he he was selected as a general secretary of of an i mean of of a of a party of an union parishad he didn't hesitate to quit first class job look look this is this, this is a miracle this is a fun he didn't feel hesitation to quit a class one job. Because to him, to be a political leader, whatever it is, you know, uh, you know, whether this, whether it is, whether, you know, it is in the rural area or in, or in a village area or in Union Parishad, to him, this is more prestigious. This is more prestigious to him because he thinks, this is the right place to earn money. But this should not be. Look, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman leaded the country for, you know, in, you know, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman leaded the country. Not leaded, led, 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 led. Led the country to get free from the Pakistani ruler not for this, because Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman had a mission. Around the history, Bangladesh, you know, British people exploited Bangladesh for 200 years. Pakistani autocratic government rulers exploited, exploited Bangladesh for about 24 years. Bangabandhu observed, a, you know, 
many things very closely because closely because it was a mission of Bangabundi Sheikh Mujib Rahman somehow whatever it is even to to sacrifice his life Bangabundi Sheikh Mujib Rahman dreamed Bangladesh must be free from the Pakistani autocratic ruler Bangabundi fought Bangladesh did everything to make Bangladesh as a democratic country. I'm very happy. Many of my friends may criticize about the Bakshal, but when I listen the speech of, I mean, before, before forming Bakshal, Bangabundu gave a speech. I'm very happy to listen the speech. Their Bangabundu many times repeated, repeated like this. I mean, he repeated, he, he highlighted the respect of the common people. He highlighted the respect of the farmer because Bangabundu to Bangabundu, the real, that, you know, the farmers, the common people, they are the owner of the country. So, he repeatedly wanted to understand, wanted to wanted to make and wanted to un, wanted to understand the you know government service holder that you are the servant of the common people, so you have to serve them, you know with uh, you have to serve them properly, you have to serve them with due due respect. But problem is that, but but very unluckily. We, we, we have uh, we are failed to get our country the way Bangabundu wanted to see it. Look, 53 years have, have passed. 53 years have passed. Question is that, did we get a true Bangladesh? Did we get an independent Bangladesh? Did, you know, have, sorry, have we achieved an independent Bangladesh that Bangabundu Sheikh Mujahidahman achieved, it's a, sorry, that Bangabundu Sheikh Mujahidahman dreamed of? If you ask me that question, I will say no. Because when Bangabundu Sheikh, because when Bangabundu Sheikh Mujahidahman, you know, was slaughtered by the, by the, uh, uh, you know, barbarian people, by the, by the, I will say, bastard son of the country, Bangabundu Shoshik Mujur Rahman has been slaughtered, had been slaughtered by the bastardians, bastard son of the country. If, you know, they thought with the murder of, with the murder of Bangabundu Sheikh Mujur Rahman, they wanted to dismantle everything. They wanted to, they wanted to, you know, uh, finish everything about democracy. And after that, we went through, Bangladesh went through autocratic rule. In 1990, again, we, 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 we got back democracy. But we got back democracy, that's true. But this is not the democracy that Bangabundu Sheikh Mujib Rahman, you know, uh, you know, wanted. This is not, not the democracy Bangabundu Sheikh Mujib Rahman, you know, a uh, dreamed of. Look, respect to the people, honor to the common people. You won't find any respect to the people. In 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 our democracy, what we see, we see everything we take personally. We don't want to. We don't want to respect others. We don't want to show our passions. We don't want to, you know wouldn't want to uh, provide the fair share of the common people. I mean, the party who holds the power, he wanted to enjoy everything bypassing other people. They don't even think the interest of the common people. So I think democracy should be and must be of the people, by the people, and for the people. And their end, the success of our democracy lies it. Thank you very much, Baya. Uh, 